This recording is about ornithology for Science Olympiad. Read and carefully follow the rules specifically about what students can bring in with them. They can bring a two inch or smaller three ring binder with information in it. They can bring a commercially produced field guide, but that's not to be contained in the binder. The binder and the field guide can have tabs and labels. Sheet protectors, lamination can also be used. The bird list is another item that students can bring in with them. The competition typically consists of timed stations where there's either an actual bird specimen or an image. Sometimes if it's images, this may be presented as a PowerPoint or some type of timed slides. So a specimen or an image will be there. The students are required to identify what that specimen is. That can be at the order, family, or common name level. This cannot be more than 50% of the competition. With each specimen, there will be one or more questions that focus in on any one of these very broad topics about birds. There are many resources available. Definitely use the resources that are on the national website. You can also search for places that people have shared old tests so that the students have an opportunity to go through those and practice. It's also really helpful if the students make tests for each other. For an, a taxonomy event, um, I just say memorize, memorize, memorize. One way to do this is for the students to make flashcards where images are on one side and information about them or just simply the name and on the and then the image on the other side however works this can be done in different ways printing out images and pasting them onto the card or printing onto note cards four by six note cards and work for that Definitely memorize at the order level. The students, if they know the basic characteristics in the, of each order that's on this list, will that will really help them to narrow down when they see a specimen or an image to what area they're looking for. And that can help them find them on the list and in the field guide a lot faster. Flashcards about each order would be beneficial. For the field guide, find one that the student finds useful. There's different information in different field guides, and so you just have to find one. Maybe you have to go with what you have available. But if a student is looking for one, help them find one that, that they find helpful, that makes sense to them. Then they need to learn how to use the guide. Some kind of uh, scavenger hunt activity might be a fun way to do that, to find different information, help them also realize that at the beginning of the book, there may be more information about bird anatomy and physiology. Again, tabs and labels are permitted in the field guide. The binder, once again, know the rules about what they can bring in. It's a two inch or smaller three ring binder. And the rules state that that will be measured by the interior diameter of the ring. So make sure that that interior diameter is no more than two inches. A nice thing is that they can contain, the binder can contain any information in any form from any source. It's important that the student understands that if they are moving from station to station, they are not allowed to remove material from the binder. Also with the binder, uh, the student should work on putting that together and that can help them learn as they're going with it. As they're learning, I might also encourage organizing very similar to the field guide 
and the bird guide from Science Olympiad. Uh, more materials does not guarantee a better score. Take quality over quantity. Students come in with binders that are packed full of information, but don't necessarily have enough time to find that information. And of course, then practice using the binder. So just a few example questions. As said, there will be a specimen, and they need to figure out what order uh, or other information identifying them that the that it belongs to. Then there are also the other questions that might be ecological, might be about reproduction. And so there's an example here on reproduction and their song. Some of the birds, they need to know how to recognize their song. Uh, just a few more bird beak adaptations, a big topic. And so knowing the different shapes and, and how they're adapted would be a good idea. Um, another example, what is the family name? Why is this bird standing in this posture? And then some of those answers. Hope this helps.